starting. And thank you once again for joining us for this latest update on Hurricane Raphael. I'm Donna Bush. It's a pleasure to have you with us once again. In our studio with us uh, at this time, we have the Director of the Public Works Department, Mr. Troy Worms. Mr. Worms, thank you so much uh, for being here with us at this, at this hour. Um, let's just jump right into it. Um, can you explain um, exactly what your teams are responsible for as it relates to you know, storms and disasters um, uh, coming to our, our shores? Thank you, Donna. Thank you for having me tonight. In respect to the Public Works Department and from the National Rules Authority, as well as the Department of Vehicle and Equipment Services, we have a joint team for the Ministry of Planning and in respect to our disaster preparedness, we go through hurricane activities, preparedness activities, to make sure that whenever these moments arise, that we can respond as best as possible with our teams to take care of the government infrastructure, as well as being able to provide support to the infrastructure cluster that we report to, and being able to bring that sense of calmness, uh, structure, as well as support to the rest of the Cayman Islands themselves. Okay, uh, so we've heard that that Hurricane uh, Raphael is is making uh, his way away from our sister islands, but they've been uh, they've been experiencing um, really rough weather for the last few hours since early evening. Um, what's next uh, from an infrastructure uh, point of view for for them in particular? So the what's next is that we actually sent our staff home at one o'clock, being able to make sure that they're prepared with their families and rested for the post event cleanup activities as well as the uh, the just the general surveys that we do to make sure that buildings and infrastructures are safe to be used by the public. So it, what, what happens next is after the all clear is actually given, our team scheduled to be able to look at properties and infrastructures, road networks, uh, the actual telecoms, the utilities, themselves to make sure that they're safe for the public. And, and that's the infrastructure cluster itself. As it pertains to the Public mm -hmm. Works Department, we are really responding to facilities agencies and property managers within government specifically, as well as taking care of any kind of cleanups that are required and other supports that are required for the, the return of the resume of normalcy back to our country. Um, did, did you have to, um, at any point, send any extra um, volunteers or any extra staff over to the sister islands or do you anticipate having to do that? Typically we provide support to the sister islands as best as possible so it would come down to a needs basis if that's required by the sister islands post their their actual um, reviews themselves but well, we stand by to mm -hmm. provide that support we've already started having those conversations to see which teams are actually able to to be able to provide that support subject to being needed so it's better to have that resource ready to go and that's what our team is here for and we stand by for further instructions okay there, look, we've been talking all evening about the moving parts the many moving parts to keeping this all together from an infrastructure um uh, point of view that, that that's a huge element of what makes our communities uh work uh can you give can you give our listening and viewing public an idea of what kind of work goes into preparing uh, for disasters and storms uh, year after year, month after month, week after week? So looking at what's required to prepare for storms, we have to look at what actually are our biggest risks with storms. So historically, we know what they are. We know what our buildings look like. We know the what we're trying to protect, which is the livelihood of our people and ensure that our infrastructures are there to support our people. So being able to make sure that the relevant codes are adhered to, the, the, the maintenance plans are carried out, the emergency plans are coordinated and also exercised, being able to make sure that our staff are prepared, being able to communicate to the public that we actually understand what we need to do to respond to the public as well as prepare for government and actually be able to do a very good job at it. 
So it's good to have a plan, but we actually execute them quite well. We time them. It takes us about four, four and a half hours to do about 122 buildings of inspecting them and being able to make sure that they're ready before a storm and even after a storm to make sure that we have put eyes on them and being able to identify quickly what has changed and being able to rectify it and obviously make sure that when it's being used by the public that it's safe to do so. Okay, Mr. Worms, uh, any final words, any reminders, uh, encouragement, advice for, for people out there who may be listening, particularly uh, those who may get this uh, word um, or see this, this, this interview with you tonight? The words that I would want people to hold on to tonight is just be thankful. Uh, oftentimes, we're not as uh, appreciative for the work that goes into preparing for these things. Uh, a lot of times we may get near misses or no activity at all. And, the, you know, just as human beings, we look at things as, oh, we didn't need to do all these things until something happens. It's better to be prepared to plan properly and to be able to execute and step your plans down. A lot of times we don't have the time to be able to step up plans in an emergency. So part mm -hmm. of a good government structure is to put plans into place that can be easily stepped down and ensure that we, we can minimize any, any casualties or any risk possible. And that's where you prepare and plan these things. So I just want to thank everyone that puts country first uh, and protects their loved ones. And, you know, just the country at large, our, our visitors, or guests, making sure that the islands are safe and can really be here for a long time and be able to enjoy the, the island life itself, but also to be safe and flourish in these islands. So I just want to make sure that everyone is thankful, grateful, and just continue to be good human beings and take care of each other. Mr. Worms, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much uh, for joining us and for sharing those words of wisdom with us um, as we wrap up um, in this hour of, um, of interviews and updates for the night. Uh, to you, our viewing and listening public, thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm.